Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually yeah, fully design or customize your character. So I will base this tutorial on this series so I will use uh, yeah, the part from the last video from part 3 and yeah, we will modify this. So first open your project up. So before we continue I want to tell you that we won't use morph targets since the morph targets if you actually yeah scale an arm too uh, far then the bones uh, yeah get uh, uh, yeah they get out of position and I can uh, yeah show you what I mean by uh, having this test project here and if we just pick here my morph test where is it there and I scale the arm with a morph, morph target you can see that the bone's still there and if I now try to fix the bone position the yeah the, the actual mesh gets very yeah weird and wrong so we won't do this today and we will yeah uh, work with transform uh, modify bones so first let's uh, open our character selection screen so we have here a text Something like arm for the arm length, and then we want a slider so we can actually, yeah, change this value. So here we go to on value changed, click on this, and yeah. Next up, oh, I forgot something. We want, uh, yeah, reference to our animation uh, blueprint. So on event construct, uh, yeah, we want to actually get our uh, anim instance or should we better do it here because if you change to female we change the actual yeah let's do it here so uh, we get the anim instance Oh, wait a minute. I totally m <laughs> failed here. So we want our actual mesh here and pick this up and get the anim instance of the mesh. So we can use this. So cast to, I think the first one is the male. So let's see here. Yeah, male. Then we want to set. Uh, Call this animation in something like this, and now if we change this from the field, let's uh, female. Let's get here and get an instance from the mesh. Pick this one, like this, and here we want to cast to female. So and now we set this. To well, can't set this, so let's promote this to female and like this. Okay, next up, we want here our slider changers, so let's go here. So, we want our male to get first, so get him, and then we actually, yeah, need to, uh, yeah, modify the male animation so we can actually get this. So I will just show this for the male because it uh, needs too much time to explain for both. You can yeah just modify like you want and this is just a work in concept. So uh, you need to go to the idle run state or actually the anim graph. So here we are in the animation graph and yeah here we actually want to transform modify bone like this. So what we do here is just connect our animation machine with this. So it's now converting this to a local component, uh, to a component. And now it's converting the component again to local. So just, yeah, combine this, it will do it automatically. So here is the magic. Here you're gonna to yeah, actually use one bone you want to modify. For better testing, you can go here on skeleton, just 
pick one, yeah, like here, the lower arm bone, and then you can actually play with this value. So press spacebar to actually, yeah, change the, the, yeah, the mode. And here you can just play around. So I'm showing you what you can do. So here also you can see which directions change, uh, yeah, the, the proportion of these arms. So here we have length, and yeah, this is weird, um, but we can good change the length uh, length of the arm. So like this, this is the transition. So here just go into transition. We pick first our lower arm, and here we need to actually uh, want the translation mode to happen. So we can add to existence and we want it to be in the parent bone space. So next up, promote this to a variable, call this something like arm length, compile and you see it's still normal. So now if we, like we can see here, we need to change the x value, so if we make 2, oops, I check this, so, ah, okay, that's uh, because this is a neg neg negative value and a positive value. So, we actually need to make this one minus two. Whoops. So, <laughs> yeah, if you get some weird stuff, just switch the value to the next one and you will see if it works. So, here it's the uh, y value. So, I did a small mistake, but you can just play with these values and yeah, you will get a good result. So just set this to zero again. Whoops. Oh, where is it? There is it. And we will make a small scale too. So promote this to variable, call this arm scale. And here we want to first to uh, yeah, make this uh, add to existent. And we want to parent bone space again. So the same is here. We need to yeah check those values. They are all ones. So this is the normal scale. And if we scale x, you can see yeah it's working for the x value. You have the y, which makes it long. So this stays as one. And the that is into this direction. So you can just leave it also as it is, or like you want. So I, I leave it as it is. Compile now. Uh, yeah, make those values normal again. And now we going to change it directly here. So first we want to set our arm length. So get this value, split the structure like this. And then we want to multiply the float by a minus value. Here is the max value you can reach. So this will go from 0 to 1, uh, multiplied by minus 2. If you want minus 10, then it's extreme large. Or you want to scale smaller, you need to yeah make this 0.5 or something. So if you have this, uh, all you need to do now is just to yeah actually combine these two and test it out. So whoops, we changed our map to the character selection map. And now if we play, first we need to click here so we have our uh, right animation uh, blueprint selected. Now if we just move this, yeah, it's changed the arm length. So next up, we want maybe copy just this and paste it here. We make our scale, which is a bit different, so i show you this way. We actually get again our animation uh, instance. We set our arm scale this time. So for this one we need a local variable or a normal variable like you uh, want. So I do here because we're <laughs> Here can only do normal variables. I do a normal, so a normal scale arm, which will be a float. And 
whoops, do I misclick to main, get float, compile and save, get this in, and now we want to get here our float, and will be multiplied by 5.5, 5. and then we want add to add this to this value, because we want 1 to be the, yeah, the smallest value you can have, so you don't have, yeah, actually two small things like we had something like 0.5 and you see those smaller arms or you can just make it like this is the smallest value of the 0.5 so this de determines how uh, yeah low the arm can get so it's it depends on you how how you set this value um, yeah so let's just leave it as it, as it is again just combine this and let's check this first get here and now oh, whoops yeah you need actually to pin this to x and here uh, write one for uh, yeah the default value so I forgot this now we have a better scale yeah that looks good so you can combine those two if you want and now we just uh, need to save this, so promote this to a variable, call this saved arm length, and promote this to a variable, call this saved arm scale, like this. Next up we need to get our save game, so we can yeah, move the transition from one level to another. So here we make a vector, call this one scale arm and maybe another one call this uh, length arm like this so here we again need to make a default value so just type in 111 or 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 like you want uh, the length arm is default I think is zero so yeah default is zero here so leave it as it is and now go again to our character select and here on our travel to next level where we actually save everything here we just let's pick this bit here to make it a bit clearer so here's the save file set the save file length on and set the scale so we're actually saving this into a save game like this and don't forget to combine these two like this and all we now need to do is go to our yeah to our blueprint whoops to our character blueprint of course and here at this place We just need to, uh, yeah, actually get the mesh. So here is the mesh, and we want to actually get an instance. Want to cast to it to the male one, and we want to set scale arm, and we want to set arm length. So just like this and again we want to get a save file just make here a reroad node so we can grab from here get arm scale and get arm length Oops. like this so now we can test this like this and yeah let's make it long and very big and just start the game so now you can see our arm changed and yeah this is anything you need to know for this yeah system maybe some f small few things if you now apply cloth this won't actually work uh, by now so you need to yeah to set uh, the anim instance from the cloth so let's see what happens if we uh, put on cloth oh no Close is actually 
automatically combined because they have the same male animation mode, I think. Uh, here, here we need to set this. So yeah, we can actually easy make this. By just pulling this in. Oh, this won't work. Just copy this up. Put this in here. Combine these. Get the growth. Just make it like this. And let's see if this now works. So male. Oops. Like this. Uh, here is some strange thing going on. So let's see what is this. Ah, I know. Because we actually didn't really set this. So you always, if you play, uh, restart the game, you need to yeah, uh, reset those all to zero. So if we now make this normal again and now start, it works. Yeah. So always on begin play here on character select or on event construct, you actually need to reset those values or you delete the save game just like you're going to to your uh, content folder from this project and then just go to I think it was something like content no delete it no it was content and let me check so yeah basically it's in saved and then save games so you just delete the test slot and now if you play we have nothing selected and now the normal arm so uh, so normal male and now we can scale and set this to this one and just play and yeah it works so this is what you need to do at any time okay uh, yeah that's all for now uh, thanks for watching and yeah if you have any question feel free to ask anything uh, below the video and yeah have a nice day bye